Good morning, everybody. It's good to be back on our uh, broadcast today. We hope that uh, you're up getting ready to go to the Lord's house. Hope you're all feeling well this morning. And we do want you to be much in prayer for all the sick and afflicted and all the things that's going on today. Uh, all that yesterday with that uh, shooting and all that just uh, going on. And, uh, I don't know. Uh, somebody said someone may have got killed in the crowd and uh, unnecessary. That's all. Uh, unnecessary. It shows you how immoral and degraded this nation has become uh, through people that are uh, wanting things their way or, or, or you know, it's just, it's just a bad situation and we need to be much in prayer and pray that the Lord will touch and help. You're not safe anywhere you go. I, I've said that so many times today that where you go, you're not safe in this old world. There's still people out there that's full of the devil, uh, driven by the devil and the influence of the devil. Uh, can be bought off of money and uh, popularity and all these things. So, uh, you know, uh, just be much in prayer and pray the Lord touch. Keep praying for Stephen Bain. He's doing better. Maybe he gets to come home in uh, two or three days. So uh, pray much for him. Uh, keep praying for uh, 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 Joe and Sonia. And I hope they have a great day today and they probably take away the pain and the fever and, and help that help them. And, Wanda, when she keeps getting better, just pray the Lord to touch there. Uh, we got others in our church, Sister Joyce and Kona, and her uh, heart test, and, and her ears, and David's eyes, and uh, my wife's uh, ears there. She's we're going to have to go to a uh, ear and throat doctor, and I do ear, throat, and nose doctor. And so we much in prayer for that. And he prayed for our loved ones that are lost. We'll see them saved. And then there's all, a whole lot of folks on our prayer chain today uh, that needs prayer. Y'all have already seen it, most of you out there today. So keep praying for them and pray the Lord to continue to bless and touch and help in all these things today. Uh, keep praying for Wayne. Keep praying for Rosie and uh, the people in our church that are sick. Uh, just pray that the Lord will touch and God will continue to touch. We've seen God uh, do great mighty things and uh, Still trusting him to continue to do great and mighty things. Most of all, pray for our lost loved ones that they'll be saved, wherever they might be this morning, that uh, they might receive the Lord as their Savior. Uh, all right, we want to go to the Lord in prayer, and uh, I hope that you'll you'll pray that the Lord will touch and help uh, us out there today and strengthen our mighty. Pray with us, Father. We thank you, Lord, that you let us come today. We're honored to get to be back this morning. We pray your riches and blessings be poured out upon every family, God, that's under the sound of our voice this morning. We pray for our home that you might touch us and our family. We pray for Jamie, God, as he's to have uh, this heart test there uh, for, uh, on the 19th. God, we ask you to continue to touch and give us good report there. For all these others in our church, God, that we've already mentioned, we pray for them, God, these on our prayer chain. We pray for others, God. Maybe we don't know about them. We don't know their needs, but God, you do. And God, we cry out with them on their behalf that you might touch and minister. We pray, oh God, that you might touch the family that is lost their loved ones, God. And these uh, from yesterday, God, our Lord, as this uh, premeditated uh, uh, murder was done, and God, uh, Lord, uh, by this demonic movement, and I pray, God, that you might uh, reach out and touch and help uh, in a mighty way. And God, I pray that this nation will be awoke, awoken to the fact that, uh, God, we must stand up and be, be what you'd have us to be and lift up our voice, and God, and take action, uh, uh, God, against this corruptness and ungodliness in this land. We pray for Israel. We pray for these in the hospitals, the home, the rest home. We pray for all of our lost family, God, that they might be saved and lost people uh, all over the world. And I pray that you would touch in a mighty way. God, I thank you for letting us come now. In Jesus' name, amen. I'm going to send it to Clyde today. Hope you're doing well. Leon and Liz will be listening by the radio. Jimmy uh, there. And I also want to send it to Terry. And, uh, may God bless and Dennis and Ava, I hope that uh, y'all are doing well. Uh, keep my praying for uh, uh, Ronnie and Sheila and their daughter Beth and uh, Ava's uh, niece uh, Cindy. And uh, Kate, like I said, I'm going to send it over to Joe and Sonia if they're getting to listen. And Sister Wanda, uh, if they're getting to listen. And Jean there and Bay. And uh, also Deloitte and Nancy. And appreciate y'all and Kathy and 
uh, Cindy Pugh, Sister Kathy Blackman, and David and Joyce, and Linda, if you're getting to listen, Sister Marlene, and Cindy to you, and Kenneth and Ashley uh, today, and uh, Aaron and Kathy, we send it to y'all, and uh, send it to my sister Judy, and uh, Coley, and Roger, and the family, and uh, Tracy, and Brent, and Alyssa, and the family, and, and Jennifer, and Aiden, and Chris, and all the family that might be listening in. Darcy, we send it to you. Nain Eileen today. And Connie, we send it to you today. And uh, to Peggy and the family, and to Buck's family, we send it over to you, Sheila, and all your husband, and all the family over in that area. And we do pray the Lord will continue to touch you and help you. And I hope little Kenneth is doing well today. And as I said, we send it out to Kenneth and Ashley and Hadley this morning. And uh, Rosie and Wayne, uh, we want to send it out. Uh, I hope I'm not missing people today. I, I'm trying not to, but if I do, forgive me. Uh, we, we do send it out to all of you today. Our church is so faithful uh, to watch and listen and pray for us. Randy and Donna, Malcolm and Ann and David and Tanya and, and her daughter there, Sarah Grace. And, uh, we just pray the Lord will touch you, Mr. Parker. May God bless you out there today. And uh, any others that might be listening, uh, we appreciate you. And Wayne and Sonia, we hope that y'all are feeling uh, well and doing good uh, today. Ted Moore, and, uh, we appreciate y'all. May the Lord bless you. Uh, Johnny and Jeanette and Johnny and Dee, may God bless you out there today. It's also is our prayer. We send it out to, uh, first time I heard this song, William Harris did it. And we send it to you, William and Shirley, and any of the family that might be listening in. Jesus said that he would come again some morning to take the righteous name of God away. He said that when he comes, there'll be no one. Don't be ready. Come. Thank you. 
Sister Alice, uh, today, may God bless all of y'all out there. Sister Eagle, if you're getting to listen in today, uh, we send it to you. I hope the Lord is blessing you out there uh, today. And uh, others out there this morning, I hope that God is touching all of you out there today. And it's just so good to be back uh, in the Lord's house this morning. And uh, we appreciate all of y'all that pray for us and help us. And, and uh, uh, trying to keep the radio station going and, uh, and this reaching out and God's blessing and God's helping and so may God bless you all out there Buster we send it to you and uh, Debbie and all the family that might be listening in today all of our neighbors we send it to all of y'all amen today the great physician's hand as he laid beside the blue he wondered how he would make it in. Then Jesus came unto him in the courtyard. Charlotte, she's on there. 
Uh, we sent it out to JD and Ellen and to uh, Diane uh, and Johnny and to uh, McClung and to uh, Mary and her husband Gene and to their brother JB. Uh, we appreciate all of y'all. Uh, we sent it out to Danny and to uh, Benny if y'all are watching. Appreciate y'all. Whoever else is out there, and, uh, I know Doris is watching. We sent it out to her. And, uh, uh, we just got so many people that was uh, we're so thankful for, and uh, so many others, and uh, uh, you just don't ever know who all you're reaching. So, man, let's see. Maybe key of A this morning. We'll see. Mm -hmm. As I walk down the sidewalk of St. Street and Street, I see the misfortune of man. A man in the gutter, lying down high, punching a bottle in his bed. He was some mother's dark, and he's some young man's father, but now he's a prisoner of state. No hugs in Anybody here that's seen his power? Anybody here go through the fire? 
let's see. If I can find this song, it was on my mind real quick.
As he hears a voice so still and low, says, I've been like that before. Said, I'll do this little thing, my child, I'll give you so much more. Come see, I walk on the water. I call the grace and sing. I spoke to the wind. You know it hushed and I gave you peace. But every time you ask me, what did I live for you? I walk right beside you. that I know that he is with us and he is walking with us and he helps us make it through. Amen. Amen. Where would we be without the Lord? Amen. I, I, I shudder to think about that today. Uh, you know, I, when I think about all the times that uh, uh, I didn't have him and uh, I, I couldn't make it through. What we're going through uh, today, we, we couldn't make it without Jesus. Uh, I send this out to all of our, our folks that are walking through valleys and facing things and, you know, the uh, doctors and different things and diagnoses and, and uh, the doctors scratch their heads and uh, wonder and gives very little, if any, hope. But uh, our, our hope is in the Lord. It's not in man today. Uh, man cannot do anything God don't allow him to do anyway. There's not a single medicine that can work if God don't let it work. And so uh, uh, here's an old song. I hope you like it. God likes to work uh, when nothing else can. Amen. He been to you, the doctor. He just shook his head. And I you been suffering with pain in your bed. Hey, hold on. Look for a miracle still. You know God likes to work when nothing else believes. God likes to work when you're back to the wall. When you're facing the balance, you're starting.
praise the Lord, right? Praise God for all of his blessings and all of his goodness. And uh, You know, I think I'm going to just get started on this message. And if I run out of gas, why, uh, Joseph can run up here and do a song or, or whatever this morning. But I, I do want to get some things out to you today. Uh, you unseen audience there on our Facebook, you, re, you know where we're coming from. Revelation chapter 4. And, uh, but for the radio audience, they won't be able to see that for next week, so we tell them. And, uh, I want you to listen, uh, intently to the Word of God and, uh, apply it to our lives and let God minister to our, our needs. Uh, you know, we're living in a world today that's full of confusion. Amen. And because of confusion, it brings forth doubt. And doubt is a hindrance. Doubt is a hindrance to the mighty power of God, the hands of God. God only works where people believe today, where people trust, where people are called on Him in faith. And we're seeing so much going on in our world today, it's making people become faithless. Amen. Because they put their faith in man and rather in God. There's uh, Revelation 4, the first three verses. I want to speak to you how fast we preach is all up to the Lord. But I want to get as far along in this as I can. Uh, he said this, After this I looked, and behold, a door was opened in heaven. And the first voice which I heard was as it were of a trumpet, talking with me, which said, Come up hither. Thank the Lord for that. And I will show thee things which must be hereafter. And immediately I was in the spirit, and behold, a throne was set in heaven, and one set upon, one set on the throne. And he that sat was to look upon like a jasper and a sardine stone. And there was a rainbow round about the throne, in the sight like unto an emerald. And I want to stop right there, and we'll, we'll try to uh, bring things together as we can. Let us pray. Father, I thank you, Lord, that you gave us this day. Thank you, God, that you have led us in the direction that you have. Thank you for the songs that you have let us sing and pray that we've all been a melody of, uh, uh, of blessings to people out there in the unseen audience today and others that are yet to watch, dear God. We pray you pray you bless the outreach of our church. We pray that hearts might be touched. Our God, that minds might be challenged. That confusion might be dealt with. That people might come down, our God, to reality and face the things that we stand before us and trust in the word of God for all your promises, Lord. And God, that we might claim these promises through uh, believing in thus saith the Lord. We ask you, God, today to touch in every way. Save somebody that's lost, touch the sick. God, minister where needs are today. Comfort where death is come. And God, may we all be faithful in the things of our God. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to talk to you about three things if I can get them all in. Associated with the rapture. Now listen to me. First let me uh, say again that uh, there are folks that refuse to believe there's going to be a rapture. They hold on to the theories and the teachings of those that are discredited by the standard of God's word. And I want to say that with utmost confidence and boldness today. And folks that doesn't believe in the rapture Friend of mine, you say, well, you, I'm not judging you. I'm saying this based on uh, the authority of the Word of God. Uh, folks that don't believe in the rapture are discredited by the standard of God's Word. Right. Therefore, if they're discredited by the standard of God's Word, then you and I should flee from any teaching uh, that they bring forth. Because any teaching that's contrary to the Word of God uh, is a false prophet. Uh, false prophecy. It is that, a friend of mine, that brings forth confusion and doubt. And that's where we're at today. They look for loopholes with to no avail. There's many that are. They tell themselves how special they are and that because that God, because they're special, that God would never allow them to suffer any condemnation. Have you heard that? Apparently, friend of mine, they, they study only the publications of modern day man. 
are the teachings of heretics and cult religion. Uh, because there's no way you could believe that in knowing the truth of the Word of God. I just want you to know that this morning. Uh, they're, they're reading things and being taught things that are contrary to what God said. If, if they'd only studied God's Word, then they would know beyond a shadow of a doubt that God's will, what God's will is, and His intention uh, for him. Amen. I, I want to address these three things that are associated with the rapture of the blood wash. Holy Ghost sealed, sitting on ready church or bride of Christ. And, and that's who these are associated with. If you're lost out there today, bring to mind uh, 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 you won't be a part of what I'm bringing forth here today. There's a place called hell that's prepared for all those that's unprepared to meet God. Uh, I, I ain't got time to preach on all that this morning. But I want to preach on these three things that are associated with the rapture. Uh, uh, first of all, uh, one is res uh, resurrection. Uh, the second one is a transformation. And the third one is a calling away. And I, I want you to understand that today. All three of these things are associated with the rapture of the blood-washed, Holy Ghost-sealed saints of God, the bride of Christ. The rapture, the resurrection. And, and I, I want to say, first of all, for you, this is not a general resurrection. There are a lot of people out there uh, that are teaching general resurrection, that we all go up at the same time, the lost and the saved. That's not right. That's not biblical. Uh, uh, in the mind, uh, uh, that's just some kind of a, a cultic belief. In, uh, belief. I want you to understand that uh, the, uh, the resurrection I'm talking about, but this is not uh, uh, to be mistaken now as grave sleeping. I want you to understand that that this is a reuniting of soul and spirit with a new, glorified, eternal body uh, that possesses uh, your likeness. I, I, I'm going to look like me. I, I, I don't know where you believe that or not, but uh, Jesus looked like Jesus after he resurrected in the eyes of those. Uh, that you and Lazarus looked like Lazarus, did he not? Uh, uh, the widow's son, uh, friend, it named, looked like himself. And uh, uh, Paul told the Corinthians that uh, uh, the church in 1 Corinthians 15 and 5, uh, uh, Behold, I show you a mystery. Uh, you shall not all sleep or be dead, uh, uh, but you shall be changed. You wanted to clear up some matters in the hearts and the mind of the church concerning uh, uh, the Christian victory through Jesus Christ. Uh, listen, we're not fighting a losing and battle as Christians today I, as the world would have us to believe but we are more than conquerors through Jesus Christ our Lord I, I, we're waiting on resurrection I, I, death is not the end he said I, in the moment of a twinkling of an eye to last trump I, for the trumpet shall sound and the dead in Christ shall be raised incorruptible I, and we shall be changed I, he explains to them in the 53rd verse I, for this corruptible and that's those that have died I, for the corruptible must put on incorruption. Uh, and the mortal, that's the ones that'll be living, uh, uh, must put on immortality. Uh, and he was telling them of the power uh, of resurrection uh, and the effects of this blessed event. Uh, a listen, friend of mine, preparation for them uh, 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 must be made uh, uh, in this life for the eternal life, to uh, have eternal life in God's kingdom. Uh, uh, I bet, and we're uh, resurrected. Uh, uh, that's how these things begin to come to pass. Uh, we're resurrected by the victory. Uh, attained over the death. Uh, uh, attained over death and the grave through our Lord uh, and our Savior Jesus Christ. We will not stand before God uh, in this fleshly sin-stained body, uh, having a glorified heaven sin eternal body, uh, like unto Jesus who was uh, uh, the first fruits of resurrection. Uh, in Isaiah 25 and 8, the Bible says, uh, He'll swallow up death in victory. Uh, and the Lord God will wipe away all te wipe away tears from all, all faces, uh, and, re the, and the rebuke of His people uh, shall He take away from all uh, of the earth. For the Lord has spoken it, a man. Uh, uh, we can only preach on the highlights of these. We can't get into a, a lot of details or an extensive study. But I pray we'll say something that'll get you to open your Bible uh, and begin to look for yourself. Uh, uh, there's a resurrection, uh, and then I want to talk to you about this transformation. Uh, uh, that's just a change. Uh, uh, 1 Thessalonians 4 and 16. Uh, and 
these scriptures will uh, uh, lap over one another because both of these letters are to churches. A uh, uh, friend of mine, both of them are speaking to God's people. Uh, uh, the churches that a uh, friend of mine uh, uh, and these letters presented to us facts uh, uh, about the rapture. The Bible said, for the Lord himself uh, I shall descend from heaven with a shout uh, and with the voice of the archangel and with the trump of God. Uh, and the dead in Christ shall rise. Uh, uh, this is a confirmation of the Lord's coming. Uh, uh, but it's not the revelation. I want you to understand that. Uh, uh, the rapture and the revelation are not the same. Uh, have you got time to get into it? Just study and you'll find out for yourself. Uh, uh, the revelation when he sets his feet upon the Mount of Olives. Uh, uh, this coming is in the air. Uh, uh, for the sole purpose of, uh, of removing his saints. Have you understand that? Uh, uh, we've already talked about the resurrection of the dead. Uh, and now we need to talk about the transformation of the living. Uh, uh, just as the dead must have a glorified body, uh, uh, so must also the living. In uh, verse 17 said, Then we which are alive and remain uh, uh, shall be called up. Do you understand that? Uh, 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 together with them, with who? Uh, with those that are resurrected uh, the de- from the dead. Uh, and we're going to be called up in the cloud. Uh, we're not going to be called over that Israel. Uh, we're not going to be called over that to the Mount of Olives. Uh, we're not going to be called over that or that tomb in uh, uh, that they say Jesus lived, uh, was in and uh, is empty. Uh, uh, but we're going to be called up in the cloud uh, uh, to meet the Lord in the air. So shall we ever be uh, uh, with the Lord. This was a promise uh, uh, that was made in Acts uh, uh, chapter 1 and verse 11. Uh, as Jesus had been taken up and the cloud received him out of their sight. Uh, uh, the Bible said to me and what a peril stood by and said, uh, uh, you men of Galilee, why stand you gazing up into heaven? Uh, uh, this same Jesus, what about that? Uh, uh, which is taken up from you into heaven shall so come. Uh, in like manners you've seen him go into heaven. Uh, a cloud took him up uh, and a cloud's going to bring him back. Uh, uh, do you understand that today? Uh, a friend of mine we're just a heartbeat away uh, 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 from a transformation. Uh, a friend of mine for this cloud, from this cloud, uh, uh, we behold his glory uh, as he comes as our Redeemer, uh, as our Lord and our Savior to fulfill the prophecy of his word. Uh, uh, that we will be chained uh, to our found living at his return uh, uh, so that we'll have this glorified body uh, uh, needed to rise up uh, uh, with the resurrected saints to meet Jesus in the air. Uh, uh, the Bible said uh, where we'll ever be with him. Uh, uh, do you understand that? I've uh, uh, been to find when I'm resurrected if I've already died uh, or if the Lord come now and I'm chained. Uh, if there's a transformation made for me right now uh, and I receive my glorified body. I, I have eternal life from it. Uh, and I will forever uh, uh, be with my Lord. Amen. Uh, uh, we're told to comfort one another with these words. Uh, I pray that you're saved out there today. Uh, I pray that you're ready to go. Uh, I pray that you find this comfort in knowing uh, uh, that there's a day of coming. You'll no longer be separated from the Lord. Uh, uh, neither from your loved one. Uh, uh, but dwell together uh, uh, in rapture bliss, uh, uh, spiritual joy, great joy, uh, and happiness today in uh, uh, There's no doubt there'll be a transformation of the living. Uh, uh, the mortal, as Paul told, uh, uh, the Corinthians must put on immortality. Uh, uh, then we'll have the victory from us uh, uh, through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Uh, uh, think about that today. Uh, uh, there's going to be a, ra- a resurrection, uh, and there's going to be uh, a transformation. Yes, there are. Uh, I've got about six or seven minutes. Uh, I want to talk to you about this calling away. Uh, uh, and let's look at that. Uh, as wonderful as the resurrection is. Uh, as wonderful as the transformation uh, is going to be. Uh, uh, they will not be uh, uh, without a calling away. Do you understand that? Uh, uh, there must be, there has to be a uh, uh, calling away this morning. A uh, uh, friend of mine, think about it. Uh, uh, from this glory cloud that the Lord's coming and back on. Uh, uh, there's going to be a calling uh, uh, for the saints to come up hither. Uh, uh, I read it to you, didn't I? Uh, uh, Revelation 4 and 1, after the uh, uh, what's he talking about after what? Uh, after the church age. Uh, uh, after the seven churches. Uh, uh, age has run its cord. Uh, uh, in the mind when it's all said and done. Uh, uh, when everything's been fulfilled uh, as God said it would be. Uh, he said, I looked and behold the door was open in heaven. Uh, and they ain't never been but one door in 
to help him ask Jesus. Uh, I friend took mine, listen to me. Uh, and the first voice he said I heard was as it was of the trumpet. Uh, we just talked about the trumpet, didn't we? Uh, uh, talking with me. Now notice what he said. Uh, uh, come up hither, eh, man. Uh, uh, what powerful words that is. Uh, uh, come up hither, eh, man, and I'll show you things uh, which must be hereafter. Uh, I believe John is writing about the rapture. Uh, uh, the church is mentioned 16 times uh, in the first three chapters of Revelation. Uh, and it's not found in chapter 6 through 18, uh, uh, which is the tribulation period. Uh, why? Because the church ain't there. Uh, uh, we're not going to be here, eh, man. Uh, in 1 Thessalonians 1 and 10. Uh, and, and the way for the Son from heaven, uh, for his Son from heaven, uh, whom he raised from the dead, even Jesus, uh, which delivered us from uh, uh, the wrath to come. Isn't that something uh, uh, delivered us from uh, uh, the wrath to come. Uh, in First Thessalonians 5 and 9, uh, for God hath not appointed us to wrath, uh, but to obtain salvation uh, uh, by our Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, verse 10 said, who died for us, uh, uh, that whether we wake or sleep, uh, whether we're dead or alive, uh, uh, we should live together with Him. Uh, I praise God for that, right? Uh, uh, the Bible said in John 14 and 1, uh, uh, let not your heart be troubled. Uh, you believe in God? Uh, I believe also in me. Uh, in my Father's house are many mansions. Uh, if it were not so, I would have told you. Uh, I go to prepare a place for you. Uh, and if I go and prepare a place, uh, I will come again uh, and receive you unto myself that where I am. Uh, uh, there you may be also. Uh, uh, he said, I am the way. Uh, uh, the truth and the life. Uh, I know I come to the Father but by me. Uh, uh, my way to heaven is through Jesus. Uh, my way into the heart of God is through Jesus. Uh, I believe we can take great confidence in His coming, uh, uh, in His calling for His saints, uh, in our evacuation. Amen. Uh, I'm here today and gone tomorrow. Uh, uh, there's going to be a, an evacuation uh, uh, from this old walk of life uh, as the children of God are called out. Uh, uh, friend of mine, before all hell or breaks loose on this earth, uh, uh, I'm planning on basking in the presence of the Almighty God. I, I'm planning on being in God's heaven. I, I pray to mine with my Savior Jesus Christ. Uh, uh, the good shepherd is calling. Uh, uh, I'm going to call for his own. Uh, uh, he knows of my name. Amen. Uh, uh, the Bible says the shepherd knows his sheep by name. Uh, and his sheep knows his boy. Uh, uh, and in this letter to the Philadelphia church. Uh, uh, Revelation 3 and 10. Notice what he said. It is to the church. Uh, uh, because I have kept the the word of my passion, uh, I will also keep thee from uh, uh, the hour of temptation. Shout, saints, uh, uh, rejoice in God. We have a promise. Uh, uh, he's going to keep us from uh, uh, and look by the hour of temptation, uh, which shall come upon all the world uh, and try them that dwell upon the earth. Uh, uh, listen, tribulation's coming. We know it is. Uh, uh, why it's been written. Uh, uh, therefore, it's going to happen. Amen. Uh, uh, but thanks be on the our Lord and Savior, uh, uh, will be kept from this time of uh, uh, great sorrow and pain. Uh, yes, it's already planned. Yes, the Lord is coming. Uh, uh, but there's going to be a shout. Uh, uh, there's going to be a sound of the trumpet. Uh, uh, there's going to be a calling away uh, uh, for the saints of God. Uh, if you're saved, you're part of this out the day. Uh, uh, but if you're lost, you're not. Uh, if the Lord come right now, you'll be left behind. Uh, uh, the call's going to be for the old. Uh, uh, that have had their sins covered by the blood. Uh, uh, that are sealed by the Holy Ghost of God. Uh, whose name is found uh, uh, in the book of life. Uh, and if you're not there, you won't hear this call. Uh, and you sure won't be called up. Uh, uh, to meet the Lord in the air. Uh, uh, in the cloud. No, you won't. Listen, I've got to go off the air. Uh, uh, friend, let me say this. Uh, 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 amen. Uh, I pray this spirit. Uh, 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 I pray this message was stirred your heart, uh, uh, that you might hear what the Spirit uh, uh, sent them to the church in. Uh, what the Spirit uh, uh, is speaking unto you today. Uh, uh, these three things associated with rapture. Uh, I believe them all this morning. Uh, I believe there's going to be a rapture this church. Uh, uh, and the church is founded uh, on the Word of God. Uh, uh, the saints, not the building, but the real church is the people uh, uh, that's got 
Jesus inside of us. Where are the church, amen? How that God come send his son either. Where are the bride? How that's going to be with the bridegroom. I pray that this has helped you some today. People need to hear them. How they're so confused they need to be awoken spiritually today. May God bless you to a little while. Thank you. And pray God will help us. Amen today.